So here's what happened. I was recording an episode, and normally uh, I do a, just a one one time thing. You know, I don't uh, you know practice a lot to do this. I just hit record and let's let's go for it. But um, I was recording something uh, for you, <laughs> and my phone complained and said you reached the limit of your uh, data, or like uh, there's no more storage space. And boom, everything was gone. Everything I just recorded is gone. So here we try it again. So this is a second second trial of my shopping experience experience that I had with my two girls. They're teenage girls. One is uh, 14. The other one, you know. 13, uh, turning 13 actually in a, in a few days, a couple of days, few days. So the mission was to go out and shop with them for shoes and shorts, okay? Two things, and uh, I don't mind, I don't mind at all. I grew up with four, four uh, you know, female in my life, my mom and three sisters, so I'm used to shopping. I do a lot of shopping for us, you know, the food and, and back stock and all that kind of stuff. I don't mind. I don't mind going and hit the sh stores because, I, but normally the way I shop, I go in and go out. I know exactly what I want. I don't go window shopping and look around. I just go in and go out. Oh, you can imagine with two teenage girls. No, that's not possible. So anyway, I picked them up from school and said, here's the mission. This is what we're going to do. We start with shop A and we go to shop D or E or whatever, uh, however long we need to get what we need. I mean, if we find the stuff beforehand, then obviously, you know, we don't need to go to the other stores. So we started with the first one and then, you know, it's already, it, it already <laughs> went sour to a certain degree because my younger daughter, so my older daughter is like a tomboy. My, my, my younger one is more, you know, girly and kind of like, uh, you know, just, just how they are. <laughs> Hopefully, if you do have a teenage daughter, then you know. Maybe you went to school with somebody, then you know. You know, period, because you met somebody like that. And that's great. And that's fine. And so instead of looking for those things that she was supposed to, my younger one, that is, she started to try dresses because, you know, mom is taking us to a fashion show. So I need to look legit. I need to look the parts. Okay, that's great. Let's see what they have. So I didn't mind. I didn't mind to a certain degree. I just looked around for my stuff and helped them as I can help. And my oldest, um, you know, got a T-shirt. Not, not again what was on the list, right? I didn't mind either. But then she started like, okay, that's enough. <laughs> you know, like, let's, let's move on. Let's get going. You know, she, she told to my younger one, like, let's... This takes way too long, you know, you're looking around, and, and my younger one just loves to look around. She's like, this is great. I just want to look at everything and try everything. <laughs> it take, take ages. So we went to the second store, and my oldest already said, like, I'm, I'm ready to check out. I'm done. Let's go home. I don't want to do this anymore. I'm like, come on, we just started. So I went to the second store, a similar kind of experience. Uh, my younger one just disappeared, and we had to find her. And the older one was like not finding anything, not really, because she needed her younger sister to look at the stuff that she gets to approve. Uh, it's uh, it was a great experience. What can I say? But the main thing is I was with my daughters. So um, after the second store, my oldest was like really done. She's like, I want to go home. I can't do this no more. <laughs> Let's just go home. Let's go another day. We already postponed that. I don't know how many times. We need this, okay? You guys need this. And so um, I was able to talk her into like, let's just go for one more store. I mean, I tried to bribe her. Like, do you, do you need a coffee? Do you need a tea? Do you need a soda? What do you need? You know, no, nothing. I don't want anything. I just want to go home. You've been there, maybe. Um, so um, I convinced her, let's go to one more store, see if we can find it there. If not, we go home. We're on the way we, uh, home. We get sushi and then go home and watch an anime, you know, which is a, for another story that I will share with you. But so uh, we, we went to that sh shoe store. And of course, my younger one was all over the place again. And my older one, uh, here was the, the women's department. And she went to the men's department because she like, they don't have what I need. And so like, okay, well, if you want to look around, that's fine. So she, her spirit lit up. Everything seemed to back in normal in a sense because she actually found some cool high tops and some vans and some, some running shoes in black because she likes that color. And, uh, you know, there was not so much you could find in the women's department with black because that's not really <laughs> the color a lot of, you know what I mean. So that's my experience. My experience was going on a mission, 
halfway done, halfway accomplished, so to speak. But they each, each one of them got two, two set of shoes. And they were happy. They were, you know, everybody was happy at the end. We had a rough start, but that's what it is, man. Sometimes in life, you know, you plan something. And you think this is how it's going to turn out. I thought I'm just going to take them shopping. We go to from one store to the next and go home and have everything we need. And then after the first store, I wouldn't say all hell broke loose, but close. You know what I'm saying? And so uh, you just have to adapt. At the end of, you know, like there was a point on this mission that I was like, this, is, this doesn't look good. <laughs> this is a disaster. And at the end of the mission, because we held on, we just tried to maneuver, right? I mean, like, you know, you have to understand, like, we're... We have emotions, we're at different places in life, we process different things, have different personalities, one handles this better than the other, one wants this, one wants that, and uh, the more people, the more stuff like that you have, right? And so, you need to adapt, I learn to adapt, talk, communicate what you need, let's try this, let's change the plan, and at the end of the day, you know what? We sat around uh, the table, had sushi, watched a great show, looked at each other, everybody had what they needed to a certain degree, and everybody was happy. It was mission accomplished at the end. Even though it was not completely how it was supposed to go, it was a beautiful experience. And I want to leave you with that. Just take your time. You know, you have a plan. That's good. Make plans. Be open and willing to change and adapt the plan when you have to, because life has its way to come, come at us that we have to adapt those plans and change the plans at times. And then embrace another plan, if that makes sense. So it was a great, great day, great experience. Thanks for listening, thanks for watching. If you take your kids shopping, be patient, be gracious, come up with some different ideas that if you have to, to make it worthwhile. And the main thing is, the last thing, just being with them is worthwhile. Okay, that's my perspective. Bye-bye for now.